Hello friends. If you've been keeping up with my Going Dope series here, welcome back. Okay, we just finished up week three of Dopey training. <sighs> wow. If you're new here and you have no idea what I'm talking about, hello, welcome. Thanks for clicking on my video. My name is Rissa D and every week I take you through my training as I get ready for the Dopey Challenge in 2021. If you don't know what the Dopey Challenge is, it's where you run a 5K, a 10K, a half marathon, a full marathon, back to back to back to back, or one magical weekend in Walt Disney World. And I'm training for my very first one ever. So every week on my Going Dope series, you and I go on our runs together, we talk about struggles, we talk about good things, pretty much anything that's like training related, including fundraising, which is part of our topic for this week. For the Walt Disney World Marathon, or any Disney race actually, uh, there are always opportunities to run them with a charity. So in instances like this, what you do is you kind of forego paying the initial race fee and instead, you pledge to raise a certain amount of money for a charity. There's so many charities involved. There's ones for like kids cancer. There's ones for leukemia research. I think there's even like some breast cancer ones. There's some for people with different abilities. Um, so there's something for everybody. The charity that I am running with for Dopey 2021 is Kelsey's Hope Foundation. I did a half marathon with them prior and we'll get more into them and how to actually go about running with the charity in one of my upcoming episodes. But basically, Kelsey's Hope is a 5013C, and what they do is they help to provide gifts and trips to kids with cancer and their families. In addition to that, they help do like research and they help to provide an annual scholarship to anybody that wants to go into the nursing field. And the best part about Kelsey Soap, the people that I have met through them are just the most like encouraging, inspiring, most wow people. I'm, oh gosh, they're just the best. So that's why I've chosen to run with them again for Dopey 2021. I always provide a link to my fundraising page uh, in the description box below if you want to donate. It's so incredibly appreciated. Your donation goes a long way into helping these kids out. And if you just wanted to learn a little bit more about Kelsey's Hope, you can also check the description. Um, I have a little bit about them on my fundraising page. Let's get into episode five of the Going Dope series, which is fundraising, farklets, and running on fumes. So I started this week out with an idea that I really wanted to hit fundraising hard kind of right out of the gate. Um, every charity that you run with will kind of set up deadlines for when you need to have a certain amount raised for your charity. And I kind of thought like, you know, I work, like I'm a dog mom, <laughs> I'm training, and fundraising can definitely be a tough thing. So I kind of wanted to do as much fundraising here at the first half that I could so that I don't have to stress about it, you know, when we get into higher mileage. Because if you are following the Galloway training plan for the Dopey Challenge or for the marathon, you know, right now we're in like the three, four mile range, but soon it's gonna be bumping right on up. So I figured what I would do is I would make some cups because I just feel like we're in such a weird time right now when it comes to fundraising. Like businesses are a little more strapped um, and they aren't able to necessarily host like, you know, charity nights at restaurants anymore or charity nights at certain like retailers right now because they were so financially impacted during COVID. Not only that, but you know, people are strapped for cash right now too. I mean, there are people that still have not even gotten their unemployment from when everything happened. Um, there's people that have been out of a job, you know, there's people that are budgeting a lot more now. So trying to ask for those donations, I feel like is a little more difficult, which just means we have to get a little creative. And that's what I did. So I decided I was going to make a product 
and in this case I made some wine glasses and I decided to sell them as part of my fundraising and it definitely uh, was a little more interesting than I thought it was going to be. I made these cups that are kind of themed to wine and dine. Well, I made two. One of them is themed uh, for Emperor's New Groove. It says this might be extract of llama and I'll put pictures over here um, and it has a little like bottle on it with the llama just like from Emperor's New Groove. The other cup that I made is kind of supposed to be you know getting people excited for wine and dine half marathon. The theme for wine and dine this year is villains. So this one says wine, dine, be maleficent, run, repeat. And I really do think they came out so stinking cute. So I designed them, I cut and printed them myself, I like weeded them myself, attached them to wine glasses myself, and then I posted about them on a Run Disney Facebook group and it kind of blew up. Like I had so many people messaging me and it was pretty overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so then the entire week, I just spent the whole week just like making cups, shipping cups out, like being pretty stressed over it. And I didn't take into consideration how much it was gonna cost me to ship each of these things. And it was actually pretty expensive. So I definitely need to keep that in mind for like the next round of these that I do. Um, but I will say like, the people that bought were so stinking kind. Like it just felt so good that they liked my design and were willing to help. And most of the people actually donated a little bit more to my fundraiser, which <sighs> so kind. So I really so appreciate it. If you bought one of those cups and you're watching this video, bless you. Wow. So <laughs> that's kind of what we started the week out with was just me going through making these cups fundraising. And the week just kind of, life this week just really got in the way we spent so much time like not sleeping this week being out way more than we normally are eating out way, way more than we normally do and it really made this week a struggle you'll actually see in here my second run of the week was pretty much just a complete and utter failure but you know what that happens we're still early on into training and like I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys like some days just they're not the best day it's not all you know rainbows and butterflies and puppy kisses like I wish but that's not always what it is so let's get into the clips from this week's video uh, this week was week three of dopey training we had two 45 minute runs and then a three mile run at the end of the week these bags under my eyes right now have me looking like lady tremaine so trying to be over dramatic but I'm literally drowning in vinyls right now like I'm drowning in them so worth it though like so happy to just be part of the crew that I am a part of but ooh. <laughs> I think that like sometimes people don't talk about how hard fundraising can be and I feel like right now is like an extra big challenge this time around just because you know so many people and places like businesses are recovering financially from coronavirus so I feel like you definitely have to get like extra creative with your fundraising so that's what we're doing good morning friends um, it's Monday morning I'm really tired this morning, but it's time for uh, dopey training number seven. Uh, yeah, so welcome to week three. Uh, last night we went to dinner and look, I'm going to be real. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, I had one glass of wine. That's fine. And we went to bed so late and this morning was really tough for me to come on out here. That's how you know you're getting older when you can't hang to go out to dinner and then wake up early for your run the next day. Oh, man. Anyway, but we are out here this morning. We're going to do some fartlek exercises. 
so that'll be fun um so basically what this week is is we have a two 45 minute runs and then a three miler at the end of the week so it's kind of like a recovery week almost um, because we have less mileage for our long run than last week and even though it's not a huge difference in the amount that we're running between last week and this week since it is a little bit less we're gonna go ahead and focus on speed and that is exactly where the fart like exercises come into play so fart like exercises uh, kind of are like intervals but they're non-structured running intervals so I'm not gonna have my interval timer going in my ear um, and it's nice it's just kind of a nice break from structure um, fartlek is like a Swedish term it means speed play and that's what we're gonna do play with speed <music> I am just on like a residential road right now. There's mailboxes and none of the mailboxes are like an exact distance from the next one. So those are gonna be our land markers. In a fart like exercise, um, you go ahead and you start like a normal pace run and then you pick a landmark up ahead and then you'll sprint. You'll just go as fast as you can or at a race pace to that landmark regardless of how far it is um, and then what you do is when you get there you slow it back you know you do a little recovery and then you'll start the speed up again when you see the next uh, landmark that you want to hit and then we'll just continue this this is really great it's kind of reminiscent of hit if you you know like to go to the gym or do home workouts you know what that is high intensity interval training Basically, this is going to help keep your heart rate up and going. You're going to get those spikes in your heart rate the whole time. It's really great because those spikes are going to help you build endurance. They're going to just help you get stronger. They're also just fun. Like They get you out of that running rut. And believe me, I told myself I was going to do one today already. I said this, I think, last Friday. And when I was waking up this morning, ooh, girl, I was like, it's okay. We're going to have a fun running morning, a Monday, run day, fun day, if you will, because we're not just doing the normal run, go out for some intervals. We're having some fart lick fun. So I hope that made sense. Basically, you're just looking at different landmarks along your running route or along your course and you're picking a certain landmark and giving it your full effort or almost your full effort, then you're slowing it down for a few landmarks and then you're picking the speed back up. And you just play with the speed for however long. I figure today I'll do like a 10 minute warm up, maybe 30 minutes of fart lick, and then 10 minute cool down. And that's it, then we'll be done. Um, but if you kind of incorporate these throughout your training, not only is it going to help you with like that running rut that everybody definitely gets into, um, but it'll also help you build up that endurance and that speed. One of the, oh, I just hit my head with a branch. Oh gosh. Um, one of the best things about for like exercises though is yes, you can like build up your speed and that's great, but you just feel so dang strong doing them. So, whew. And that's the goal. I'm not the fastest, but every week we're getting a little bit stronger. So I did say where I'm running, I'm using mailboxes as markers. Um, but what if you are only running on a treadmill or you're only running on a track? Can you still do fartlek? Of course you can. Um, instead of using like actual landmarks for your markers, <laughs> Um, go ahead and like use music, you know, uh, put a song on maybe when like the chorus comes on That's your faster pace or when One song is like about to end, you know, you use that as your faster pace until the next song starts So you can definitely incorporate this Anywhere you're running as long as it's like more random, you know, you don't want to be on the track You don't want to say that you're gonna like run the straightaways and or yeah, run the straightaways and walk the curves. 
um, that's just a little more structure. Remember, this is supposed to be like speed play, speed fun. Uh, so we don't want specific markers. It should be different every time. Hello, it's Friday and I look like I have died at this point. Um, hi, hello. How are your runs going, guys? Uh, so I haven't run since Monday. Feels like 500 years later. That's fine, though. <laughs> That's fine. So this week has been the longest week of my whole life. Um, so, you know, we're talking about fundraising a little this week. And on Sunday of last week, I had posted some cups that I made for sale um, for people to purchase and then proceeds would go towards my Kelsey's Hope fundraiser. Well, I did not take into account how many people are going to want them, which thank you so much if you bought them. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so appreciative, but like it was kind of overwhelming. So I definitely want to keep doing that because um, it seriously like it was a hit. So. Woohoo! It's definitely a lot to do while still working, training, like everything else. This week was also uh, my girlfriend's cousin's birthday, so like we spent a whole week like trying to celebrate. Um, yeah, I don't know, it was just the busiest week ever. We had to take my grandpa to a couple appointments, like we just had appointments ourselves, like it was just out of control this week. And was like rainy and then like my girlfriend's car is broken again like she just finished painting the car off and I feel like it's broken every other day now so we're tired it's been no sleep this week like at all like I said this is crazy that I haven't run since Monday it's now Friday um and I think we've only been to the gym like twice this week so it's definitely been a crazy week um and you know, the fundraising has been a little bit stressful. I did not realize that it was gonna cost me like between 10 and $15 for each order to ship. So I definitely need to figure that out for the next round, but it's just been crazy. Honestly, like G had to do a class tonight for work and I was like, I gotta go, I gotta go on a run. Like I'm so tired. <sighs> I drink an energy drink and here we are. It's just one of those weeks, man. So hopefully your week is going a lot better. Hopefully it's not as stressful as mine is right now. And like, I just feel like the world in general is stressful right now with everything going on. Um, yeah. So hopefully you're having good runs. Um, hopefully you're doing your runs like me the whole week. That's okay. We'll do this one and then We'll hit three miles on Sunday. So, I'll catch up with you guys later. Today is a struggle. We're only like two miles in and my pace is much slower than um, it has been, you know, my last two weeks of training. And I just feel like I just like cannot do it today. Like you guys know, like I love to be like positive, pumped up, but like I'm tired today, dude. I am so tired. Like do not underestimate the importance of sleep, especially like when you're training, like So that run was not a good one. Um, these bags under my eyes right now have me looking like Lady Tremaine. So. Hi guys, I'm checking in on Saturday. I'm not running right now. Um, I'm being very glamorous and packing my boxes that I need to ship out today for my fundraiser in my car in a random parking lot. Living my best life.
This is just real life right now, guys. Real life. Good morning, friends. It's Sunday. I'm about to go do a dopey run number nine. Just three miles this morning. And I feel I don't look better, but I feel much better than last time that I talked to you guys when I was a hot emotional mess and felt too stressed to do anything. <laughs> um, so I got all of my uh, cups, except for two more orders sent out. So I just feel a big sense of relief, which is great. <laughs> so I'm gonna get out there. It's 4.20 in the morning right now. So a little early, but it's gonna rain later in the day. So. Just gonna get on started. Um, since it's completely dark, I don't know how much of this run you guys are gonna see. <laughs> but feels so much better than the last run that we went on together. <laughs> motivated hopefully if you are also fundraising this maybe gave you an idea of something you can do as a fundraiser um, there's so many other options out there like I said restaurants are normally a really great option and maybe they're starting to get back to normal soon and you can do another restaurant fundraiser I know like Panda Express does them I think Chili's does them so there's definitely places to get your fundraising done at uh, sometimes if you go into a retailer, they can give you like some gift cards you could maybe raffle off or things like that. And I've even heard of people, you know, doing things like getting flocked, which is someone will pay you the donation or whatever. And then you go to a yard of their choosing and put a bunch of like pink flamingo, like the tacky Florida pink flamingos all in their yard and it's called getting flocked. And then to get the flamingos taken out, they can also donate back. So, I mean, there's definitely tons of like creative ideas. You could host a bake sale, offer some kind of service or skill that you have. Like if you're a good photographer, like say that for a donation, you'll do like a mini session for somebody. If you're good at crafting things, you know, craft something and do it that way. Keep asking, keep trying. I know it can be so stressful to try to get those donations, but just, keep in mind like it's always going to such a good cause think about it like you fundraising and raising awareness for these different organizations is just going to help them continue to bring the magic like they do so like i said i hope you guys had a fabulous week if you're fundraising let me know what you're doing to raise your funds or how you're asking people or approaching people how is it going um, I hope you have a great week of runs in week four of Dopey Training. Uh, remember, if you do want to catch up and see how my training is going or help keep yourself accountable while I stay motivated, please don't forget to uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I also am posting updates on Instagram kind of frequently. I don't know. I try. Um, so if you want, my username is also below. All right. Thanks for watching my Going Dope series. See you guys next time. Bye. Excuse me. Are you going to say bye or you don't care? No.